Hi everybody, this is Laura Robertson with the Laura Robertson team. I am here with Brian Tabor from Ameritex Roofing. Brian's been in the business 34 years. We've been working together about 15. And as you can tell, he's putting a roof on today. So he's gonna talk to us about Roofing 101, materials, that type of thing. So Brian, tell us about this. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Having me. What, uh, what we started here is there was a uh, insurance claim that the roof was uh, damaged by hail, and so the roof had to be be replaced. It's deemed by the insurance company that's uninsurable. Uh, the roof is up for sale, and so the, the homeowner is having to go ahead and uh, replace the roof. So we started the process this morning of replacing the roof. We're using a, a type of shingle called Certainty Landmark. It is a lifetime, limited lifetime shingle. It is a the, midi, the medium of the grade of shingles. There's several different grades of shingles that you can look at, but in this particular neighborhood, it, it was the 30 year was the minimum that you could go back with. Uh, as you can see behind me and here behind me, we are removing the first layer roof uh, down to the decking. Uh, the decking uh, is checked all the way through to make sure that there's not any damaged decking as we go around. If there is damaged decking, then we come back and we replace the decking as needed. Uh, we put another felt paper, uh, it's a synthetic felt that goes over top of the existing uh, decking that's up there now. Normally we don't remove the uh, original felt because all it is is added protection. So we go right over top of it. Uh, then once that felt paper is, is, is put down, then we start the process of replacing, uh, putting the new shingles back on. All the valleys, all the pipes, uh, all the uh, flashings that's around the walls and the fireplace, things like that, we install a product called Ice and Water Shield. And what that does, it protects those, um, those areas from water getting around them. If you ever have a leak on a roof, it's normally from a penetration or a flashing. So we try to go through there and reinforce those areas so we don't have issues later on. Then once we start the process, there's a drip edge that goes all the way around the edge of the roof. Uh, it's already pre-painted, so we're not replacing that drip edge this time. Uh, but if the drip edge is damaged, then we will replace it. A lot of, in a lot of situations, when you have a steeper, steeper roof, it's, uh, it's a little bit more... Um, it's a little bit more pro a problem for our guys to replace it. Uh, it's a little more dangerous, so we normally don't replace that. A little, more, more, little bit more liability is what I was looking for. Uh, but then after that, then we start the process of going through replacing the shingles. Each shingle has four to five nails uh, as we go through. It's all hand, it's not hand nailed. As you can hear, it is with the machines. Uh, we use nail guns to install it. We used to do everything by hand, but now it is so much more efficient for us to go back with the, the nail guns. Um, and that's when the process starts. Once we get towards the finishing of the, the roof, we'll have, you have ridge rows. We, we have a product that we use uh, on all the ridges, which is a three tab product, which is a lesser uh, product than what the 30 year that we're putting on there, but it's just for the covering of the ridge. And then after that, then the inspections are done and then the roof is complete. Well, it's a lot more complicated than you would think. So lots of parts and, uh, and all. So, uh, so anyway, thank you so much for explaining what is the components of the roof and all. Uh, if, you li if, if you would, we'd like to have you back again and talk about roofing uh, maintenance. Would you come back and do that again? Oh, definitely. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. Have a great day.